Hi everyone, welcome back to Vanilla Extract, and I'm having a lot of fun here. So, today, I am standing on a tree, but not really a tree. It's a tree on a piece of rock, or a piece of rock, that needs to disappear. I originally chose this place based off of the location, the fact that the piece of land I want to build my mega base on is on a bit of an island, except for, where is it? There's a little bit over here somewhere. This little bit. This is this little bit down here. You know what? No, no, I can't stand for it. This is the only bit that is stopping this piece of land from being an island. So I'm just gonna do this. It will be an island because that's what I originally wanted it to be. Ha! You're an island now. Okay, now it is an island. I originally chose this place because it is an island. Yeah. Uh. And I wanted this huge building to be standing on this seemingly normal island that we're going to turn into a not so normal island. And eventually there's going to be so much stuff all over this entire place. It's going to be so cool. But uh, first step is uh, getting rid of that hill. As much as I would love to get rid of it using my nice diamond tools. Uh, diamond tools are definitely not going to last. So, time to get a little bit flashy with our armor and tools. All I need is a couple of iron, a little bit of wood, so that we can have ourselves a nice, where's my crafting table? A nice little smithing template. So, armor time. We are going to go with the netherite, obviously. Boom, there's a netherite. Boots. We got our pants. We got our helmet, and of course, I'm not going to just settle for plain netherite, because that's boring. So, on our pants, or on our, on our pants, sorry, those are not pants, those are boots. We're going to go with that, and then on our pants, we're going to do the piglin one, and for our helmet, we're going to go with the same one I did on my boots. And I think we're looking pretty snazzy. But now for our tools. And hopefully this means that they're going to last a little longer. Won't have to go constantly repair them. Okay, now back to the matter at hand. This hill needs to go. Woo! Digging noises! Blocks breaking! The hill is disappearing! Woo! Yeah! Okay, so as much as I like digging this out by hand, and as much as it is satisfying to look at as the blocks disappear, I think there's definitely probably a better way to do this. Because, I mean, it was, like, up to here, maybe? Now it's to there. It's taking just a little bit. And, uh, it's not going fast enough. So here's what I'm thinking. What if we made it go boom? I have a shulker of sand. I could grab a bunch of gunpowder. That could be a possibility. I don't know if it'd be quicker, but it would be way more fun. Watching the hill blow up. And we have plenty of gunpowder to do it. Like it's not gonna, it's not like we're gonna be losing all that much. So might as well use it. Since it's not being used for rockets yet. Alright, so I have a little bit of TNT. Let's see what kind of damage we can do with it. We can what if we do it like every three? So like one, two, three, and then dig down again. Is that gonna work? If I just like is that going to blow up coherently? Is it going to blow up? Oh, wait, it's raining. Run! Hello? Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, that definitely did not reach. Hmm, okay. So then what if we just do, like, one? I'm going to do it, like, every single other one. Is this going to put me in danger? Hopefully not. That just explode. Oh! Okay. It was just a delayed reaction. Okay, I think every other one might be the way to go. So let's get rid of up here. And hopefully this won't blow up in my face. The other one didn't, so this one shouldn't, right? It's gonna blow up. You're gonna do it? There it goes. Okay. That didn't... Huh? That didn't even reach the other ones. You're supposed to blow up, don't you know? You're TNT. Ah, there. There it goes. Now it's going. 
Now it's going. Here's explosions. There, we got two more. We got even more now. Good, good, good. That's what I wanted to see. Nice. And then afterwards, we just get to come back through and just clean up whatever it leaves behind. Nice. I think this might actually work. Okay, well, I've placed a lot of it now. So if this is a bad idea, we're probably going to know in a couple of seconds. I'm so sorry, Mr. Pig, but you're about to blow up. I'm just going to sit here in this tree where I'm safe. Watch it blow up. Oh, come on! It didn't get to the other ones. Seems like it's always the first one that doesn't do it. Maybe if I activate two. I feel like that helped last time. Okay. Okay, now it's going. Maybe that's the trick. Getting two activated and then they all kind of go after that. Oh, we got flying TNT. Oh, no. Well, it's working. Oh, poor trees. Some of these trees have to go anyway, so it's fine. Whoa, okay, it is really flying. Um. Well, that was exciting. I feel bad, because this poor tree is now blown to bits. Hmm. I should probably pick up all the items that just went flying everywhere before it starts creating lag. I'm trying to decide if that was quicker or if that was way slower. I don't know. Can't tell if it really got all that much. I think what I'll do is I'll flatten this area again and try blowing it up one last time. Maybe that'll work. Okay, so I've flattened this place out again. And I think I'm only going to do a couple rows at a time just to try and make sure the TNT doesn't go flying again. I don't want to hurt any more of these poor trees. Hopefully this time it won't go bouncing. Oh, this thing's going to give me a pain each time, isn't it? Perhaps two will work. Come on, I know you want to explode. There it goes. There it goes. That's okay. That's so much better. Oh, nope. We got some leakage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I see how it is. We're gonna go flying, aren't we? Oh, there. Yep. See, where is that? Huh? Where'd that just go? Did it blow up midair? Okay, that's a little confusing. But it looks like we're going down into where I didn't want it to explode. So we may want to stop exploding and just finish the rest off by hand. Because I didn't want to explode down here. And it's exploding down here. So just like that, it is now gone. And better yet, we now have some new boxes and he's running away with my dirt. Sir, why are you running away with my dirt? Anyway, what I was trying to say is now we have all these boxes and materials as well. And they're pretty much full to the brim with everything I need to actually get started on the base. But I realized... I kind of got ahead of myself. I uh, I may have collected all these materials to start on the base without actually having an outline done. I kind of need to do that. I kind of need to outline the base first so I know exactly where I am actually going to be building. So let's do that. Let's outline the base. Roll the time lapse. Now with that done, we have copper fields galore everywhere my base, <laughs> even though it's just a wonky outline, has turned into copper central because to actually build this build, I need a lot of copper and a lot of copper 
is not easily obtained if you need it to be oxidized. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We got we got plenty of copper. Even though that's not enough. So I'm gonna keep oxidizing. But in the meantime, let's talk about this. So yeah, uh obviously base is gonna get built up eventually. Not gonna do that in this episode. <laughs> not in the slightest, because I don't have the resources. So we're gonna leave our wonky outline for now. We're gonna come back to it later in a different episode. And I think we might as well solve our issue of being poor. I keep spending diamonds for resources to get stuff for our base. And uh, I'm severely broke now, which is not good. So I have a couple of boxes with stuff, a lot of stuff. And we need to go over to the shopping district to go pick out a spot to build our shop. So back down the extremely long tunnel, that, for whatever reason, is super unsafe. But soon. If soon, I should probably spawn proof this thing. Maybe I'll even do it with ice, so that I can boat down here instead of using up all of my rockets. I mean, it would make more sense to do that. Because then, I don't have to use up my own stock just to get to my shop. Oh yeah, and tunnels are starting being made, so that's cool. Eventually this will be a decorated. Might go help out with that later too. And the hub's looking pretty nice as well. Okay, let's see. So I've chosen this plot and we're gonna build a castle structure and it's gonna look really cool. We're gonna sell lots of stuff in it. We sell many, many things. Rockets, wool, carrots, surprise items, weekly deals, deals? De wow, words are hard. Deals, weekly deals. But yeah, so we're going to have lots of stuff. We're even going to have an auction room. Because why not? I think. Uh, let's get building on that. I, I actually do want to see it. Because for whatever reason, all the builds on this side of the shopping district all have a medieval theme to them. So I thought, better reason not to build a castle. Like, I don't know. We got a bunch of village houses. Might as well give them a castle. So yeah, let's get building. Enjoy the time lapse. have ourselves a shop and I've been working very hard to try and stock it all hopefully I'll have that done eventually and I want to get some more stuff set up like for example the weekly bargain I don't have a weekly bargain yet but uh I will set it up soon don't worry about that and we've already started stocking our rockets and a gunpowder I'm still working on the other two tiers of rockets but it's fine it's fine and uh we're still selling our coal so that's nice Get, well, we'll get carrots soon as well. That's that's one thing we're selling. We're also going to sell probably the cheapest wool on the server once we get that going. So that'll be up here. And there's one other thing. Except I don't have a place for it, to be honest. So I think what I'm going to do is revamp this little corner. Because I keep looking at it and I'm like, hmm, it's empty. It's very empty. I don't like it. It's too empty. Uh, so I want to sell moss. And so my idea is I'm going to make a little moss corner over here, right? And just sell moss in this corner. Because why not? No one else is selling moss, to my knowledge. So why not sell moss? I don't need anything too fancy, to be honest. I just need a little corner. A couple of barrels, maybe a few hanging ones. And that should be all we have to do for that. That should be good enough. I think that screams I'm selling moss. And I'm probably going to add some more barrels at some point. I doubt only these few barrels are going to be enough. 
So of course we're going to be selling moss for one diamond per 64 blocks, which is just a stack. I, I might change that in the future, but for now it's going to stay that. And of course we also got our moss carpets and our azalea bushes. So let's see, we got plenty of stock here. I think we'll start with the bushes and the carpet. Carpet's real easy, it just goes in there. <laughs> Little bow tie, I don't know. And sailing bushes are going to be one diamond for 16, so we'll have to do this. And sadly, I don't have as many uh, flowering azalea. I have a lot of this normal azalea, but hopefully it doesn't matter. Now to stock all of our moss. And we shall see how long that lasts for, because I have a feeling that people are going to want moss. But with that, I think our shop is finally ready. I think we're done here. Of course, there's other stuff that we do need to stock and get prepared for, but I think I've done all I can do for now. So remember how just basically a few seconds ago, I said there wasn't much we could do left? Apparently that was wrong, because now there's that. Yeah, someone came by and was like, hey, are you going to put anything on top? And then proceeded to say, oh, you could put a brazier beacon thing up there. Oops. And uh, I was like, oh, that's actually a good idea. Well, now it's there. And I have this brazier on top of it that just has fire. But hey, it looks pretty neat. We just have this little fire sitting on top. And I guess it kind of makes sense considering I sell a bunch of rockets. And speaking of rockets, they're selling. So... I really do need to restock these. In fact, I have a bunch to actually stock, so I'm going to do that real quick. All right, so now we got them all full. We got a few choker boxes to sell of each one. We only have one tier three, but we have plenty of gunpowder to sell in here. We have so much stock, and this is this is wonderful. This is great. And uh, didn't get any more moss sales, but... uh. I'm sure it'll probably sell. I know North Tunnel is looking for a ton of moss, so who knows? Maybe maybe uh, it'll sell soon. But now I think that's all we can do for now until I restock some more stuff. So let's see. I would go straight to my house, but I need to repair my elytra real quick. This shouldn't take too long. And we're back on our way. Back to the train we go. And here we are. Back at our train. Home safely. Well, that was fun. So if you made it this far into the video and you like what you've seen and you like watching the crazy and random things I do on the server, feel free to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode where hopefully we should be able to do some stuff. Goodbye.